Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel once again. As you've just seen, we have quickly disinfected and bedded up the shed ready for the triplets to come in, which is what we're planning to do this afternoon. But before that, it's a sad, sad day because it's the last ever outing on the farm for the 6130M. Yes, sadly, she is going and we'll explain a bit more about that as we get into it. Hope you enjoyed today, guys. If you do, don't forget to like, subscribe. Right, let's get going. So, as I said before, this tractor is going, which means today is gonna to be the last ever trip on the 6130. So pretty much every three, four years, we trade in the new loader tractor on the farm. And this week is the week which we're getting a new tractor. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what it is yet because you'll see at the end of the video when it arrives, but it's been a very, very tricky decision and it might not be one that everyone is expecting. That's a huge hint. So we'll get these bales delivered, we'll get the sheep sorted, and then we'll explain a bit more about what is happening with the tractor. Right, that is the delivery all done. Now, let's get some triplets. Here. Good girl. Right, with the help of Josie here, we have got the use in. So, in this pen, we have twins and triplets and bigger multiples like quads and quintuplets. And what we are housing right now is triplets upwards. So there's gonna be about 24 coming out. Then I've got to clear another shed out this week to get the twins in. The singles, I usually just leave outside until about the week before. We've got that much grass about, as you can see across here, we've still got plenty of grass. We've been cornering them as you saw in the last video. So I'm not too worried, but I wanna make sure that the nutrition of these triplets and multiples above is right in the last three, four weeks of lambing. We don't want any problems. They're gonna get great quality haylage, as much corn as they need. We've worked that out in rations before. All we gotta do, shed them off, and then we're gonna walk them very steadily. Yes, very steadily, Josie, wherever you are, back to the shed. So all we gotta do now is get these shedded. We've got a pen all set up, triplets in there. The rest is gonna stay out for a couple more days. And we did have a shower this morning, we're going to do this morning, but it's dried back up, filling the backs on them. They're fairly dry now, so I hate bringing sheep in when they're wet because it makes the shed damp, especially if you've got a full shed, then you, get, you can have respiratory problems and all sorts. So we like dry sheep, and as you can see, fairly dry. Right, so that is all the triplets plus in. So a little walk back to the shed and that is them. Hopefully all settled in, getting ready for lambing. Nice steady walk back to the shed. You can see here walking them now, there's a few just starting to bag up too.
If you hadn't guessed already, yes, we have swapped the 6130 for a T6 160. The first New Holland on this farm ever. You've definitely done that before. Oh, yes. Just I'd a like couple. A, I'd like a pan for every one I've loaded. <laughs> You'd be rich. So, when was the last Ford on this farm? 94. 94. Are you recording this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 30 years. Got to be, hasn't it? Yeah, all John Deere for 30 years. Yeah. And Ed's the man's changed Dad's mind. Broke the mould. <laughs> it was the price that broke. Wow, well, yeah. Well, the reason we have kept this so secret is because we didn't make the decision until very, very last minute. We were looking at about four tractor brands, weren't we? So we're looking at basically a like-for-like -like swap for the John Deere, the T6, a class, and a Fent. And for what we want, I'm not going to lie, we couldn't not go for the new Holland in the end because of the prices. We're in for the first time. The main thing for me, I need to figure out how this load works. That's a bit more sensitive, I have to get used to that. So that's that's on wires and that's on electric. And that's MX, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's the latest MX load, it only came out in December. Ah. Oh, is that why we held off? Uh, Slightly. Well, that's why it got repriced. Yeah, it? yeah. And that's it gone. No more 6130M. George is just having a little bit of a drive of it, but been here two minutes and we're taking it straight away muck carting. Right, let's go. This cab definitely feels a lot bigger. I have driven this tractor before. If you remember, we had this on demo and you saw a little clip of me pulling Dad out when he got stuck. But apart from that, we've kept a lot of this new tractor stuff quite secret. Um, and like I was saying before, literally, you just couldn't go through a tractor on price, especially for a loader tractor, you couldn't be beaten, like, this was a lot, a lot cheaper, not thousands, tens of thousands. And Ed, good friends with the family, works at Russell's, sort us out, he sold us the baler this summer, the new round baler, just got a really good relationship there with them now, and that's why we've gone here and as well as that the local John Deere dealership has closed and another one is a lot further away and they didn't seem to like pricing stuff up as well as the old one. breakdown need to remember that um, that is first load all loaded really really happy with this this mx loader is so so different so it's all electrical and not on wires like the last one um, a completely different machine getting used to it it's a little i think it's physically smaller than the 6130 um, it's, it's boost to 160 horsepower. I'm not 100% sure what it boosts from to 160 horsepower. That's how New Holland's works. So it might say 160 on the side, but it'll be a similar size to the 130 or the equivalent. Um, no, I really like it. I know it's one of those things where you have a new toy, you love it. But um, we'll see how we get on with the next few weeks. Well, just back from another delivery. We are a day later and we have been using the new tractor a hell of a lot. Really, really happy with it. I will say it is much better on the road because of the cab suspension. I'll explain a bit more about the tractor because obviously you can see a lot of it in the coming videos to come. Really, really exciting. What do you think? 
did we make the right decision? Thank you for watching, guys. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to like, subscribe. See you next time. Yeah.